Hey, welcome back to another video, Tristan Parker here. Now today I'm showing you something really nice and simple that you can achieve within Elementor, which involves using stacking overlapping parallax style panels. Now as you'll see, if I scroll up the page, you'll see that the image in the background here is fixed and it has a very subtle zoom effect on it. The panel underneath is sliding in above the panel on top, so it gives it that stacking effect. Once this panel reaches the top, that one then sticks and then the panel underneath then starts sliding in on top of that one. And again, this image has a very subtle zoom in effect on it as well. We can keep repeating this process for as many panels as we want. So this is what we are going to be running you through step by step today. So here we are, we have a blank canvas in Elemental Pro. And the first thing we want to do is create that initial container. So if we hit the plus button, we're going to create a full container and we're going to click the six dots right at the top. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is resize this because I want it to fit the entire height of the window. So if we go to height, go to min height, and I'm going to change view height to 100% like so. Now from here, we're going to go to style we're going to add a background image and we do this by clicking background classic and then we're going to choose the image option great once your image is in you'll see that it's a little bit large so we're just gonna to have to resize that so let's head over to position right underneath the image and we're going to choose center center and you're probably going to want to change the size to cover and you'll see that it gives it that much more refined look and feel now you'll see in a demo that we had a very nice zoom effect on this when we scrolled so let's take care of that underneath your image options you can click scrolling effects and then we're going to go down to scale cool and this is going to scale up when we scroll i'm going to change the speed to two because i do want it to be subtle but if you want it to be more intense you would just up that speed so as I'm scrolling now, you can see that it's, uh, it's ever so slightly zooming in. Awesome. So you remember that this panel was fixed, but we're not going to take care of that. What we're going to do is we're going to continue to build the other panels that we need. So coming down, we're going to add a new panel. Again, full width. And this one's going to be our text panel. So what I'm going to do, similar to the block above, I'm going to choose the six dots. I'm going to go to height. We're going to go to min height. I'm again going to change that to 100 view height. So that's 100% of the view height or the browser screen. Great. So this container here, I also want to change the color from white. So we're going to do that by clicking style. We're going to go to background. We're going to choose the classic type and we're just going to change the color. Now I want to try and match the orange on this car. Now you can either put in a hex code or you can just guesstimate it maybe slightly darker I'd say that closely matches enough for me once you've got your color or whatever style you want your container to be we're gonna head up to the six dots and you're gonna start adding some content like so so you can click and drag widgets in that you need I'm not gonna to dive too much into the widgets here but what I'm gonna do for speed is I'm gonna delete these and I'm gonna paste in the widgets that I've already defined on another page So you'll notice this is currently spanning the full width of our container. Now, if you're like me, I tend to like my content a bit narrower because it's easier to read and for the user to digest. So we're gonna do that by just adding an inner section. And I want this to be three columns. Once you've got your columns in here, I'm gonna change the structure by clicking the six dots, going to structure, and I want a 16, 66, 16, like so. Now, I'm not sure why it's doing this at the moment, but it's stacking my narrower containers towards the end, even though they should be sandwiched. And then once you've got your container structure, we can click and just drag our widgets in there like so. Awesome. Now, thinking forward, what we need to do is we need to add some padding to this container because if we start moving into the smaller devices, this text is most likely going to butt right up to the edge of the container. So we want to accommodate for that. So we're gonna click the six dots and we're gonna to go to advanced and then padding. I'm gonna choose M and at the top, I'm just gonna put two. If we unchain them, we're gonna define those as zero, like so. 
So now when we go down to the smaller devices, this text will not sit flush to the edge of this container, which would always look messy. So moving on, we need to continue building our containers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna choose this one, I'm gonna right click it, and I'm gonna copy. And because we wanna add another image container, I'm gonna come down here, right click, and paste. So now we need to swap the image. So we're gonna choose the six dots, style, choose our image and swap that one out like so. Okay, again, I'm gonna follow the same process with our container. Paste that one in. All right, this time I want the style to be slightly different. So we are gonna apply this one to be white. And I wanna change the text color to be blue. Look, somewhat closely matches the image above. And I'm gonna copy that hex code, select the text below, style, text color, and paste that in like so. All right, excellent. So now, one final time, I'm gonna choose this image. I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna paste it below, and we're gonna swap this image out one final time. All right, so there we go. We have our text blocks and our images. So the next thing we need to do is start causing that stacking effect when we scroll. So what we want to do here is click the six dots. We're gonna to go to advanced, we're gonna to go to motion effects. And where it says sticky, we're gonna choose top. Great, so you'll see now when I scroll, nothing is happening. And that is because the containers are scrolling up the page but because of our Z index and hierarchy, the containers are stacked in the wrong way. So we need to flip that and stack the containers so they slide on top of the container above. And we can do that just by defining our Z index. So if we go to advanced, we're gonna start off with a Z index of zero, like so. And now if I scroll, this one is gonna come in and I'm gonna change the Z index to one. Now the next panel, I'm going to change this content Z index to three. And you'll see that we start working the numbers up. So those that have a Z index of zero have less authority than those that have a Z index of anything higher. So three is going to have more of a Z index authority than the container above. And that is why it would then start sliding above this container. Now, if you're not sure about how Z-indexing works, I do have a video on my channel. I will link to it in the description as well, so make sure you check that out. Now, coming down, next panel is going to have a Z-index authority of four. And finally, this one is going to have a Z-index of five. Now, if you've got more than five panels, that's fine. You just have to continue working that number up to ensure that each panel below is more authoritative than the one above. And that's when you're then gonna start getting that sliding over the top effect when you start sticking the containers. All right, great, now the Z index is taken care of. Let's start applying the stickiness to the rest of our containers. So choose the six dots, advanced, motion effects, sticky, top, excellent. So now when that reaches the top, that one is gonna stick like so. When this one reaches the top, we also want that one to stick. Great, and this text panel, choose the six dots. We're gonna to go to sticky, top, and then finally, we're just gonna repeat that process one final time. Like so. All right, so there you have it. You can see that we have the effect that we're looking for already. Very nice effect, images are slightly zooming in and our text is sticking and our images are sticking like so. Cool, so now we need to make sure that this is working well on smaller devices. So a couple of problems that I encountered when working on mobile devices. So if we head to responsive mode down at the bottom here and go to mobile, you see that this looks absolutely fine, but where we encounter the problem is when this one sticks to the top, you can't read the text below, okay, because it's cut off. So if you've got a lot of text in this container, you're not gonna be able to read it all. So the sliding effect still works really well and we can keep that to an effect. So what I'd recommend that we do, and the way that I got around fixing this, was if we choose this container, 
go to motion effects and we just turn off the sticky on mobile devices. So now this container is not gonna stick, it's just gonna continue scrolling, which is great because this is the content that the user needs to read and needs to be able to see all of. So I think it's a very nice compromise. So if we scroll down, you'll see that this image does still stick and the container below slides on top. So you're still kind of getting that effect that we're looking for. So obviously the sliding effect on desktop is gonna be more present here, but it is definitely a nice compromise. So again, if we choose the six dots, go to motion effects, I'm gonna turn off mobile for the text block only. And the image one is fine there. So if we update these changes, all right, so here we have our preview page. Now, obviously for the purpose of this demo, there isn't a lot, a lot going on here. You don't have a header and things like that, but guys, you can go away and build that into your own website. I'm just showing you the effect here. So let's scroll down. We've got that nice text overlay. It's sticking to the top. The next panel is coming in. There's a very subtle zoom effect on our images and the next panel is coming in like so. So this is, like I say, a very nice effect that you can start building into your websites. It's effective, it's very, very easy to achieve. We've done this in less than what, like 15, 20 minutes, and you're gonna find it really useful. So guys, I hope you found that useful. I am gonna be releasing some other tips and tricks that I have been discovering over the time I have been using Elementor for my web design projects. There seems to be very little limits as to what this program can do. If you haven't started using Elementor yet, there is a link down in the description, so make sure you go and get it. I also wanted to let you know that I've just released a Facebook group for those who are web designers and use Elementor within their web design business. So if you're looking to improve your business, whether it is finding clients, uh, defining your niche, learning how to improve your web design tactics, there's gonna be loads of information dropping in that group, so make sure you click the link and go and check that out. So that's all I've got to share with you now, guys. If you haven't done so already, give the video a like, drop me a comment below if you've got any questions, and also don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will see you in the next video.